Peace. This is your brother Raheem coming at you again, your investigator reporter coming at you once again. This is part seven of Raheem versus Bentray. Errors, contradictions, defects, vulgarity, uh, vulgarity, excuse me, um, etc. in the Bible. Okay. Um, basically, this is a talk through, giving you a, a recap of everything. Basically, I have proven that the Bible does have errors. And just to cap it off, even Josh, Joshua from ABT, he said it himself live. He, he knows it, but he still followed the Bible. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. It's been Trey going to go against Josh when Josh knows. So, you know, there's another Bible person. So that's my backup right there, you know. So um, basically, I have proven um, without a doubt everything that um, I've said in the uh, previous videos. Okay, we talked about... Um, how the highest eminence, etc. How they copied with defects and errors, you know, from Ellen White to the Jehovah Witness to Harper Collins uh, study Bible. I've shown all that. And this brother still wants to say the Bible is infallible when he basically can't read Hebrew fluently. Just going to go and get a couple of words don't mean nothing. And these are people that are basically making the versions that he and I read. They're telling us their errors. And he still wants to talk about that there are no errors. He's a liar. He even tried to go to the NIV. He tried to switch it from the Bible having errors to the Quran having errors. And I showed him when he brought up the error that's supposed to have been in the Quran about six days. I proved to him that that was wrong, which he was trying to, you know, prove. And he knew it. He knew he got caught out there. So that's that. Okay. So, um, we went to the unicorn. I went to the unicorn on him. You know, I went in depth with more than one source to show unicorn the word has no business in there. He tried to say, well, it's in the NI it's not in the NIV. And okay, well, still, lots of people read the uh, King James Version and they're not reading the other versions. And it has no business in there, so that was an error. Um, went to the insects and foul, you know what I'm saying? Went to that and showed zoology of the Bible is wrong. So, can't get around it. An insect is not a foul, and a foul is not an insect. Uh, both don't have four feet. Fowl have two feet, walk on twos, <laughs> and insects walk on six or eight or better. You know what I'm saying? Most insects have six feet, six legs, walk on six, not four. We went to the NIV, the RSV, even to the Arabic Bible. I show you the Arabic. See, I can go into these things because, see, I care about the people. Okay, I went into the ants. I went out and got the evidence for the people because I'm not going on speculation. I'm going on educating the people with documentation. You see, he went on speculation and can't get around the ant thing. Can't you just can't show it with the Quran? The Quran is right. You know what I'm saying? So I use that. Showed that there are 
different Bible verses versions, excuse me. One has 66 books, the other has 73, the other has 80, the other one has 81, the other one has 84. How can you sit there if you see I got all of these Bibles? You see what I'm saying? And I got more. You understand? I have a, a bunch, a plethora of Bible dictionaries, some that people don't even have. And you see this and you say there's no errors? You're kidding me. Either you're lying or you're just not educated. No one can sit. This is the Bible books. We're not even talking about verses in the book no more. We're talking about there's an error, there's a defect, there's a. Oh man, it's just it's just crazy. You got different verses. You would never see a Quran that goes from a first of all, the Quran doesn't have books in it. It has chapters and verses. The verses mean ayat, which is signs. Alright? It's one book done by one man with one mission. The Bible has unknown authors, as I've shown, has authors. <laughs> That they speculate that wrote the books. It just has different books in it. You know what I'm saying? From different times, from different periods. Muhammad Salah Wasalam wrote his book in the period of 23 years and he finished it before he died. You have the Bible, which it man's date that Jesus died. You know, this and that. He's like the main character, but he doesn't have a book in the Bible. Mark has a book according to, you see. Matthew has a book according to. John and Luke, according to, have books. Well, why Jesus don't have books? And then I showed you how they switched according to to make you think that Matthew did write it. They could, let's say if they did write it, and let's say if Matthew and them was there when he was he was supposed to be crucified, right? But when you read back, his disciples fled. They didn't eyewitness him. So anything they write about, would write about, would be hearsay. So it's right, according to Matthew, according to Mark, according to Luke, according to John. Cause they wasn't there. That's, I'm just saying hypothetically, but I know they wasn't there. It ain't the same people. That's another story. Um. Anyway, that's 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 just the gist of it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the NIV is corrupted. The RSV and any other version you have. The Hebrew is corrupted because, as I've read, the Hebrew that we read, which is the modern Hebrew, the boxed Hebrew, not the paleo, basically um, is a copy of a copy from a copy. And they said copies, copied, and then they copied again and made serious defects. So even the Hebrew is is in an error. It's in an error. So you know, I mean, it is what it is. I prove my point, and like I said, I went out my way to educate people so they'll know and not to believe in some nonsense because it's not right. We supposed to be teaching our people what's right. And if you're not going to stand up and give the correct information, there's no need to even try to de debate. Some dudes just de debating just to be heard, just to be somebody. Coming up with wrong information, telling people wrong, trying to be slick. When, when I'm, we talk about the Bible, dude going to bring up the Quran. Well, the Quran was already talked about, and I said that before with DeAndre. So he had a mission before, pretense our debate. So he was planning, well, I'm going to flip it on the Quran. It, it, it wasn't about the Quran. But I still answered this question. And he still failed. He don't know the Quran. He only got that from somebody he heard. So he took 
Oh, that sounds nice, so I'm gonna use it on Raheem. And fail. You just fail, all right? So it's, it's not going to, you're dealing with a dude that knows his Quran. I know your book better than you, and I know other things. Okay, so people study. See, I was trained how to get evidence and how to really put it together to show the people. And I do this from the soul to show people what's true and what's not true and people are starting to see now people are starting to see my work people knew about my work because I get a lot of subscribers but now they starting to see and starting to come out the woodwork and I think these guys are seeing that now and they like okay wow Raheem's doing yeah but I'm not doing it for y'all I don't care what y'all think and then my next debate will be with DeAndre with Muhammad in the Bible. It's going to be a very educational uh, debate. So I hope you guys, whoever's listening to this video, hope y'all chime in and be on that show and download it because I'm going to give out some very, very valuable information and it's no getting around it. Like I said, I'm not coming with some word that looks like Muhammad. I'm actually coming with the word Muhammad. And again, I'm going to say it once again. The copies of the original on down, they made errors and defects and everything, but there is still some truth inside the Bible. That's why the Quran and Fruquan, chapter 25, says you use the Quran to judge the previous books so whatever don't match up with Quran say for instance the Quran says don't eat swine Bible says don't eat swine we good to go Quran says all animals have communities like humans then the Bible says ants don't have rulers and things like that it's wrong see so we use the Quran because the Quran is correct uh, like the Quran says the Sun has motion okay the Bible says the Sun stood still and the moon stood still they don't match up you get what I'm saying so it is it's that's that's what we use to judge the previous books okay so i hope everyone enjoys the debates and my videos and getting my knowledge and go back and research what i put up you know what i'm saying and you'll see see that's what a lot of people are doing now they going back they get my information because a lot of people don't have the information I'm, I, I have. They have other people's information that sound good, the romanticized uh, stuff that make you feel good. You know what I'm saying? But now they getting information from me and they seeing this and they like, yeah, this is, oh, wow. Okay. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? So I say peace to all those people, you know, that's really doing the knowledge and going and taking my uh, knowledge and you know checking it out seeing it if I'm legit so I see it coming I see it because they they see it like yo this dude is legit he his info is is tight his sources is tight so that's what I'm about getting sound methodology sound sources critically analyzed you see what I'm saying and giving it to the people you know what I'm saying? So I investigate and I report back to y'all. So that's my motto. All right. So with that, I end this series of Raheem versus uh, Ben Trade. I had a lot more. Trust me, I had a lot more, but I don't want to keep making more videos. This is it. I'm, you know, getting ready for my debate with uh, DeAndre. But I say peace and keep studying. Masanal.